If you are a front-end developer and this is like what your portfolio looks like, this will make me actively never want to hire you. We've never had somebody submit their portfolio with a description of how they view their own portfolio. It delivers a minimalist yet sophisticated aesthetic. Look, Santa's not trying to be mean here or anything, but I really hope AI wrote this because... Oh, 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 welcome to the 11th official portfolio roast. My name is Santa and today we are going to be looking for which portfolios are on the nice or the naughty list. That's right. I went through the last two weeks of portfolios submitted to my discord and I chose eight random ones to rank on hireability, aesthetic and creativity. If you want to get your portfolio roasted by the community or maybe be featured in one of these videos, make sure you join our discord and pop it in the portfolio roasting channel. All right. Santa is already pleased. This looks like a unique experience. Hello, I am Engel Gaddis. I'm bridging the gap between what is and what could be. What does that mean? Already out of the gate, we have a very slow auto typing effect, which doesn't tell us anything about who you are. I will say I do like the pixel style of the site though. I don't just make tools. I make them fight for efficiency. Here is my arsenal. Front end framework, React, programming language, JavaScript. Look, I'm an engineer and I'm like having trouble remembering some of these logos. Like what is Keepa? And is this air table or something for a recruiter were to land on your site? I don't know if they'd have the best time knowing what's going on here. All right, we go to the first project and it looks like the professional category is empty, but we have personal and all if personal and all are just going to be the same thing and professional is going to be empty. Maybe just don't have these tabs. Okay. So things I don't like about this about me page, I don't know where you're based in. I actually don't know what you do. It's egregiously hard to read this because the typography is kind of awful. I'm clicking the LinkedIn button and it actively does not do anything. Hireability. I'm going to give this one a five. I feel like Santa didn't know enough to hire you as one of his elves. God, I'm never saying that again. For aesthetic, I'm going to give this like an eight. It was like pretty cool. For creativity. I'm going to give this a nine. All right. I'll Already, I feel like there should be one of those like seizure warnings or something because what in the fuck is going on in the background? What in the world is going on here? My friend, how is anyone supposed to read any of this? It feels like one of those sites where like AI added a bunch of gradients and like just from a bird's eye view, like if you squint hard enough where everything blurs together, it looks good. But the actual readability of this is like quite bad. Also, I don't know if these are projects or places you've worked. It just says collaborations. I don't know what collaborations means. I would love to actually know like when and how long you were at these companies. Also, the entire point of like a technologies page is to like get a good understanding of like what you specialize in. Bros Technologies looks just like a sushi conveyor belt where he has every single thing under the sun listed under here. I am never going to be able to understand what you actually specialize on. Also, some of these are just repeating. So it's overwhelming for no reason. Like we have the other category over here, but then because it wraps, other is also just here again. So we're seeing like double the amount of technologies. It's just overwhelming for no reason. Higher ability. I'm giving this like a four. I feel like I sort of have an idea of what you do, but I left the site more confused about what you actually specialize in than when I joined. Aesthetic, probably like a five and creativity. I guess like the sushi belt conveyor idea was kind of creative. I'll probably give this a six. Rate this portfolio, not mine. Came across this portfolio and it seemed clean. I'm thinking whether to do something like this. Is this like when you go to the doctor and you ask about some like embarrassing situation and you say your friend has it and you're just asking on behalf of them? I'm an accomplished Marine Corps veteran and senior software engineer with Fortune 100 experience. I've had a chance to work with highly innovative teams, including Pixability, Google, Amazon Lab. Okay, wait, at first when I landed on it, I was like, what is going on here? But this is actually a pretty decent portfolio in terms of hireability because like in the first sentence, I get a pretty good idea of what this person actually does. Proud of leading the UI development for the redesign of Node.js.dev and constantly contributing to open source. This portfolio is impressive because this guy has a lot of experience and his portfolio is just the fastest way to convey that information. He literally only has one other useful tab here, which is called resume. And it's just a link to all the actual things he's done. This is a perfect example of what a portfolio is meant to be. It is literally meant to get across the most impressive part about you in a short amount of time. And if you have a ton of experience, sometimes all you need is a paragraph or two just talking about how much of an actual track record that you have. Like if this guy's resume landed on my desk, I would probably consider interviewing them. I'm going to give higher ability on this, like a 9.5. The only thing that it's sort of missing is a bit more information about like what technologies he specializes in. Aesthetic, I'm going to give him a six. It's nothing special, but it's also not like deterring me from reading any of this. Like I don't mind actually reading this because he outlines like impressive enough stuff to make me want to keep reading. And none of it is formatted in a way where it's like unreadable, like some of the other portfolios and creativity. We're going to give this like a three. This next portfolio is particularly interesting because people in the comments when they roasted it said, this isn't a portfolio 
it's just a CV. I can tell that somebody submits their portfolio without watching any of my videos because I think in almost every single video, my biggest complaint is I do not know where the person is based in. The top section for your portfolio should contain your name, your explicit role, some indication of how much experience you have and where you are based in. Languages, okay, we have four distinct languages, tools and technology. Look, what I'm about to say is gonna come off as controversial to a lot of really hardcore portfolio enthusiasts, but I don't think there is anything wrong with simple portfolios like this. Like the entire point of a portfolio, if it's career oriented, is to put your best foot forward and in the shortest amount of time, Get a recruiter to understand enough about you to want to hire you. And depending on who you are and what you have done, that's gonna look different. Like for people like Ben Halverson that have a plethora of like really impressive experience, you don't need to make some grand impressive resume. But also if you don't have the same experience that Ben has, you probably shouldn't be making a portfolio like him. Similarly, it seems like Pran is a technical analyst. He's not like a web developer or something that has the ability to make fancy UI portfolios. And he has some real world experience at companies. The whole point of this portfolio if he's applying is for a recruiter to click on it, learn a bit more about his experience and what he does and get a more personable impression of who he is that you wouldn't be able to get from just a one page resume. You know, he has a really like likable profile photo going on here with that smile. You know, he looks like a cutie. I'm like, oh man, this guy looks like a fun guy to work with. If I saw this and I was hiring for whatever it is, all of this stuff is, I would be more willing to want to interview him than I would have if I just saw his resume. And that's all you're trying to get across to people. And that looks different depending on who you are. I don't think there's any wrong with this just looking like a CV, but in a nicer format. I think it got the job done. I'm gonna give this like an eight for higher ability. For aesthetic, again, there's nothing there that prevents me from being able to read it and understand the information on the page. I'm gonna give it a six. Creativity, probably like a four. All right, so this guy joined the Discord, posted his portfolio, got like a tiny bit of feedback, didn't even wait for everyone to post it, and then immediately left the Discord. Not gonna lie, I feel used. That alone constitutes you being on Santa's naughty list but let's check out his portfolio. Right off the bat, this feels very AI influenced, but also very newbie developer-ish. I don't think recruiters would catch on to this, but if you are a developer with experience and you look at this portfolio, you can probably see exactly what I'm talking about. Like number one, we have the light mode, dark mode feature. That is like one of the first things as a new developer you think looks extremely cool on every single site. So in your portfolio, be like, yeah, it'll be a nice touch if I add that dark mode, light mode button. Like that's what people are looking for in top devs. Almost like a right of passage that every developer that is early on in their journey has to add one of these buttons to whatever it is they are working on. Also on the top, we have his name and then just like an A there. Like, is this like his logo or something? Like you can clearly tell AI added this there and he just like, I guess it looks okay. So he just rolled with it. And then of course, the final telltale sign of like a newbie developer is random animations just for the sake of having it. Like for example, in the background, I mostly only see these like DNA floaty designs in the background. When I ask AI to add something in the background to make it look more cool. Finally, then on hover with the name, like what purpose Number one, does having your name here a second time serve next to its logo when you have it right here? But secondly, like the hover animation, like what, what is that adding to anything? Given that this person is a full stack developer who specializes in React and Next.js and Django, and I promise I'm not just being mean because he left the Discord, but he says here a strong attention to detail. This is the exact opposite of strong attention to detail that I am looking for when I look at a developer's portfolio. When I hire people that are going to be working on the front end and they talk about pixel perfect design or attention to detail. And they have all this useless stuff that provides absolutely no purpose. That is the opposite of attention to detail. Who are cluttering the UI and adding things that nobody cares about because you as the developer think it's cool. Attention to detail is related to user experience, not developer experience. You should be thinking about what the user wants when they land on your site, not what you think would look cool. Even the projects display, we have five projects here in a carousel, but there's a filter projects bar. First of all, who is coming on your site and they're like, I need a way to filter between these five projects. But second of all, the filter is on the project name itself. Where is the use case? There is no user that is going to come onto the site, know exactly what project name they're going to be looking for that they wouldn't be able to just find by using this carousel. And they're going to need to like type it in and be like, oh, I need his nutrition tracker. Oh, there it is. It almost feels like this portfolio exists more to just be a pet project to like learn how to make a dark mode, light mode button to add random animations or more precisely ask AI to add random animations and add 
random features to your site than it is to actually be hireable or do anything. Like one of the biggest things I'm looking for is a GitHub button. And all I have is a button down here that says my socials that I have to click to expand. There's literally no reason to like have to expand this. You can literally just show the icons without this button here. Overall, hireability is a two because I feel like you talked about things and then actively disproved it in your portfolio. Aesthetic, I'm gonna give this like a five and creativity, like maybe a four. This next portfolio is special because it's from one of our mods. And not only is he one of our mods, but he is one of the most active roasters of portfolios in our Discord. So he definitely deserves a review. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say, I'm not really a fan of the aesthetic. It feels very like 2012-esque. Thick white borders on dark backgrounds usually makes it feel a bit like outdated. It's very like old HTML-ish style. Ryan Lee, full stack developer, Malaysian, but based in Australia. Fluent in English and Mandarin. I already get a good idea of who he is and what he does. And we have some important links here as well. The world is going on in your Twitch. All right, not gonna lie. I think if your Twitch is like outdated or like you're not like actively streaming. Oh, I guess, I guess you sort of are streaming every now and then. I don't know if I put that at the top of your portfolio, but either way, it's fine. We have a lot of animation here, like this line animation that we're finding a lot on the site. I don't really think it adds anything. In fact, it probably just like distracts me from reading the important stuff here. But I do like how you have your experience, your education and your extracurricular all in like an easy to digest manner. And it's like all upfront. One thing that does confuse me is you say you're studying, but also you have full stack experience as a lead full developer. Is this like part-time or how does that work? Overall for higher ability, I'm going to give this an eight. I have a good idea of who you are. Aesthetic, I'm going to give it like a six. I'm not a fan of the style of it, but it also wasn't like jarring enough to make me not want to read. And everything's like tight and concise enough for me to get a good understanding of who you are without having to read paragraphs of jargon. And creativity, I'll give it a six. All right, right off the bat, it's kind of like a cozy vibe. I'm sort of digging it. I'm Gregor, a passionate software. All right, you already lost me. This is the about me section. And all I know about you is your name and then a bunch of jargon. I don't know where you're based in, what type of stack you specialize in or what type of developer you are. Okay, we have experienced full stack developer doing Flutter, Spring Boot, JavaFX, and Magento. I feel like when I hear full stack developer, I'm thinking full stack web developer, but you specifically specialize in mobile. Okay, your education, technology. Wait, what is this? Five out of five or out of five? This gives me like no idea of anything. This is just like when people say, they're five inches in JavaScript. I don't know what five inches mean, and I don't know what four out of five means. Like this relative scale is absolutely useless. This whole portfolio reads to me, someone who has like a decent eye for like, what looks good, like what is eye candy, like the gradients, the text, everything feels nice and warm and cozy on the site, but nothing is what you actually want it to be. I know very little about what you actually do or how much experience you actually have. So higher ability is like a four. In terms of aesthetic, like it looks nice, like it's pleasing to my eyes, but it was almost a frustrating experience because half of it was just jargon and not the information I actually wanted to see. It's almost like you tricked me into like reading things because I thought it was going to be useful, but in reality it wasn't. So I'm going to give this like a six. In creativity, I'll give it like a seven. All right, so right off the bat, this guy has a typing animation in like three different places and it causes the entire UI to like shift as it's going. Now, I feel like I've mentioned in every single one of my videos, but this person was like, can I ask why when someone mentioned get rid of the typing animation? And just as a note in our Discord, we have an entire portfolio roast FAQ where all the advice I have given out in all of these videos is nicely organized by one of our great mods. I would highly recommend checking that out before posting your portfolio because otherwise you're just posting portfolios like this, which doesn't follow any of the good practices when it comes to portfolios and you will get roasted because of it. First of all, the colors here and the like actual site is insane. I know I said one of the previous portfolios looked like it was from like 2015, but this straight up looks like it's out of 1995. We have like this thing, which I assume is trying to be like a a light toggle or like a light mode toggle, but it just does nothing on Switch. So I don't really know what purpose it provides. And yeah, we sort of get the information we need, like a Kolkata based front end developer that specializes in React Next.js, Tailwind CSS, and Shad CN. I'm going to be real with you. Before I read this, I straight up thought this whole thing was just basic HTML and CSS. And you were like a back end developer or something. If you are a front end developer and this is like what your portfolio looks like, this will make me actively never want to hire you. Like, I'm kind of in disbelief that this is built in Shad CN and Tailwind. Also like small things like one of your two projects on the site is your portfolio site. But then you have a link to it. So when I click it, it just takes me back to the portfolio site I'm already on. And even like the technologies that you say you use for the portfolio site, like Zod validation, 
Where is Zod being used here? What is coming from Next.js? Is this like all this information coming from like an endpoint? That does, it, it doesn't even make sense. This is unique because we've never had somebody submit their portfolio, but also have their portfolio on their portfolio with a description of how they view their own portfolio. It delivers a minimalist yet sophisticated aesthetic with a comprehensive light dark mode system. Fluid animations powered by frame or motion and optimized layouts to ensure a seamless user experience across all devices. Look, Santa's not trying to be mean here or anything, but I really hope AI wrote this because if this is how you view your portfolio, that it delivers a minimalist, minimalist, yet sophisticated aesthetic, I think you should go through and watch almost every single one of my portfolio videos and go through all of the portfolios on this spreadsheet. Because I don't think you have a good enough frame of reference, not just the portfolios, but like how web experiences work from like, websites in general. I'm going to give this a one on higher ability, a one on aesthetic, and maybe like a five for creativity. If you want to submit your portfolio, all you have to do is join our discord link is in the description and you can submit it there. But more importantly, if you actually want to build taste and the eye for what a good portfolio looks like, the best way to do that is by roasting other people's portfolios. So by joining our discord, you can do that as well. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these videos, which portfolio was your favorite, what you found funny, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good holiday season and a happy new year.